What is up guys, Joe Holland here. Today we are going ice fishing. That's all there is left for ice on Sebago Lake. On Sebago Lake, we're fishing for deep lake trout with our ice fishing gear. We're bringing our ice fishing jig rods. I'm gonna put this ice back. That's the end of the ice right there. But we're fishing it with our ice fishing gear. I'm taking the Elliott jig rods out for a walk on some deep, 100 plus foot deep lake trout. We're going for as many as we can catch. Donnie's birthday is tomorrow. He wants a pile of these for his birthday present so he can smoke them and candy them and have them to eat. And we are really excited to get some lake trout. Come along, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun catching these out of the deep water with the jig rod. It is early March. I'm here with my good buddies, CJ and Corey, and we are ice fishing on Sebago. Wait, ice fishing? We are not ice fishing. It's early March and we are in the boat. I didn't bring an auger. He forgot his auger, so he brought the boat instead. <laughs> We're on Sebago Lake in a boat, early March. You know, CJ and I have been running live scope for a handful of years now. We've got, we've had the 62 transducer, haven't been able to use it on deep fish, you know, through the ice. We, ha we got some awesome jig rods from Elliot and two brothers made for deep jigging, big lake trout, regular size lake trout, small lake trout deep. Haven't had a chance to use them. So we said, you know what? We're gonna go out in the boat. We're gonna use the jig rods made for ice fishing. We're gonna use 62 on the Garmin Live Scope and we're gonna see if we can jig a couple of these lakers. They really shouldn't be too far off. They don't know what's going on at the surface anyway when they're in 120, 130, 140, 180 feet deep. As far as they know, there's three foot of ice over their heads and we're coming out for them on a snowmobile. But that's the plan for today. We're on beautiful Sebago Lake. This is the second biggest lake in the state of Maine. I think it's the deepest. It's the deepest lake, I think, on this side of the Mason-Dixon line. It's uh, over 300 foot deep. I don't think we're gonna fish that deep today, but you never know. Let's go get them. You ain't gonna hit it much better than this, are you? No. This is beautiful. Wow, he's got some head shakes. Doubles! Man, this one feels pretty good, but I'm, I am using a jig rod. Thanks, bud. I don't know if my GoPro's on. <laughs> Cooler right I now. I grabbed the net for you, but <laughs> I'm, hooked up I'm not worried about it. I got mine right here, Corey. I don't know if you want them. <laughs> must be that lot. Yours must be pretty deep. Yeah. It's not locked. Taking you out. Bring it to the camera when you oh, get it. Yeah. You get them? My shoulder's locked up. I couldn't move it. Yeah, while well, you got that net there. Oh, yeah, I got you. I'm going to come to the edge. What are you looking for? He fell? Huh? Yeah, he is. Oh, wait, see. Rolled in it. Oh, nice. Sweet. He came off. Dude, that was sick on that. Yeah. Did you even see it on the live? No. It was sick. That's a great fish. Yeah. Take him home. Donnie will eat that. Oh, Donnie asked for about six of these. That'll fit in the old uh, 60 quart. Oh, you got one coming in hot. There you go. I was gonna say. <laughs> that, was, that was coming real hot. Good. Corey, I think you got one coming to you hot. Be ready, bud. You're gonna get a bite. I've got one on you, Joe. Yeah. You gave up on it quick. Nice fish. Oh. About time to top one off. Pretty 
watching God in the water. Yeah, that, that takes mine up. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. There you go, Donnie. like an L eyes. That one's been the hot color, I guess. What's the hot color? Really? Nice. Oh, he's on you guys. I gotta run out of the chat. There you oh. go. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he doesn't bite you something. Is there another one? Yeah, there's three. There's a minimum of three. You got one chasing your... The fish? Yeah. Oh, another one. Yeah. He's on there. Oh. You got the net. Good one. Average. Another one, guys. Yeah. Yep. Dude, this is sick. This, this is, awesome. is so much fun. I know. Joey's coming to you. Coming to me? There's a fun There's another one. Oh, boy. Just tip mine. Oh, he's on CJ Hard. Oh. Back on you, Corey. Damn. Down. Here we go. I'm gonna get this. Oh, oh, both going after yours, Joe. Are they still on me? No. Shot back there. Coming up to you. This is hilarious. Oh, he just swiped at you. Coming back. They're both on you, huh? Primal. We got one underneath us too, Corey. Yeah, there's I know. A, there's a couple fish here. You know. Oh, that one's shooting up the gel. Straight up. Got him. Straight up. Did you see him? <laughs> Feels pretty good. I mean, you got a tiny stick over there. Yeah, this is pretty light. <laughs> this is this is the Nomad. This is it's 36 one inch, left. medium heavy. That's a good one. That's on you, CJ. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh. In the net? Eventually. You got plenty of time. See if you can hook it up again. I'm not going to horse him. One on the bottom, Corey. This one is just a Nomad 36 inch medium heavy j jigging stick. You had him? I did. Picked it up off the bottom. This was the smallest mark out of the three marks. So he's probably an average sizer. But I liked how vertical he was. You knew he was going to bite right. by how vertical he was on the live scope. Oh, I'm to the leader. That counts as a catch. I'm to the leader. That was nice. Actually, not a bad one, is it? That was the smallest mark. I'll get it. Right, GoPro. <laughs> oh, you probably don't want that poop in your boat, do you? That is what we call a togue. All right, nice togue right there, guys. Catching them on these ice fishing rods out here in 110 foot of water is a lot of fun. But there's a togue. Oh, he's got some poop coming out. I gotta get back to the action. There he is, guys. <laughs> there he is, nice fish. Gonna drop him in the in the pack back cooler and get him home to Donnie. Trying to connect this thing. 
so we can record that footage. It's pretty sweet. A couple more coming. Oh, unreal. Guessing it. Guessing it. Biting it. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I saw that. Kissing it. I saw that. Biting it. Biting it. This one's got some. I was paying attention to the very tip and I saw it. Yeah. This one's got some head shakes. Oh, we've got some more, Corey. Yeah, I see him. we have got some pretty good head shakes on him. That's a good one right to the left. I think this might be a decent fish. Another one coming from the right. I'm gonna loosen my drag in case he wants to make a run. Are you uh, are you getting him on the fall or the? That was on the lift. The hits are not huge hits, but. No, it's just pressure. Yeah. Yeah, chasing you, CJ. If you set that net right over here, bud, I can probably net him myself. What are you talking about? Well, it'll be a minute. There. Oh no, I'm to leader. I'm gonna get on the poop. I got most of it cleaned up. Hold on, GoPro. Yeah, it's an eater. Oh my God. Tag a buddy you wouldn't want on a net. Listen, I'm filming, <laughs> I'm fishing, and I'm netting. Yeah, but you didn't say you're doing any of them well. That wasn't part of the conversation. Yeah. Pew. This one's long as heck, but he's not a fatty. I know. Is there? Oh, yeah. I gotta get back down. Yeah, no. I'll get down as quick as I can. Nice one there, guys. Got a long one there. I've been told there's fish down there, so I want to try to get back down. That fish is definitely being abused. Switch up to white. You guys both have white, right? I got another one of these tied on right now if you want. Yeah. Pull on a stiffer rod. Is it close by, Joe? Yeah, right here, bud. This one might actually even be heavier, so you'll beat me to the fish. Right in that bag up front, or somewhere here, there's all kinds of I think this is this is the Cisco wet, and it's got the three quarter ounce. So I think this is the answer. This this. It's probably even better weapon. Oh, you got them all by yourself. Is that me coming down? Here comes Joe. <laughs> Here comes Joe to ruin everything. Freaking guy, ruin everything. Where'd they go? I got the calling card. Coming in. All right. As I was saying, I'm trying to connect. Is that looking? Like I right, go to home. I was going a lot faster down. Go to home. Compared to that braid. Seven. Oh, it does have that. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has never been. Oh, yeah. That action on that's way different. We can, if That's you it. want, we can undo this one and put yours up here. No. Yours is already set for it, right? Yeah, I don't I don't care though. I mean it doesn't matter to me. How do you get the upper? <laughs> <laughs> I am not gonna get guys, I'm trying to get you footage. <laughs> I'm trying to get you footage for the Garmin. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Thunk. <laughs> but these fish keep disrupting my I'm trying to hook up the phone so I can get you guys some footage. That guy just stopped coming That's up. That's another penalty. Yeah, this is a, this is a 15 20. Easy. You can go back if you want. I won't let me. Oh, there you go. Just keep hitting the back button. And then go to. Yeah. And then zoom her in if you want. Yeah, we might have to get my unit out. Oh, you got that wrong. This thing is definitely a weapon. We got a fire over in Standish. Wow, why is this guy's just hit a wall? He's like, he's like, I'm done coming up. <laughs> he's like, you only got 36 inches of leverage. I'll go when I want. He saw the net. Yeah. Such a 
You close, Joe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice one. Oh, look at him puking. Puke face. He swallowed that pretty good. Thanks, bud. Yeah. It's another good one, guys. No comment on how good my net job was now that it was good. That was a phenomenal net job, by the way. I just have come to expect a good net job, so. We're only going to comment on the net job when it's bad. Golly, twist it. This thing That's is. a good one. Yeah. She's thick. They're all uh, pretty good and meaty. Donnie's going to be pumped. Donnie's going to be so happy, dude. He's He said, ah, bring about four, six, eight. So, yeah. Do you have pliers, Andy? We got a little. Can he pan fry them? No, he's going to smoke them. He candies them. Oh, does he? Down there. Yeah, he candies them, then smokes them. Another good one, guys. Be a perfect eater, son. That one up top? Or is that Joe? Um, one coming from the top. You, you, you literally have one eating you. You have two eating you. That's me. <laughs> you, have, you have two eating you. <laughs> All over Joe. Yeah. Missed it. Got it. Got him. Another one too. You're gonna hook up. Double hook. Ready? On me? No, oh. on. Oh. Got him. This is awesome, guys. We're in 110 foot of water out here with our jig rods. I got the Nomad by Elliot. It's a 36 medium heavy. It's the lightest rod I have. I got braid going down to a fluorocarbon leader. I got, I got three knots in this line just to get down there. I got two, bra two braids and then a fluorocarbon. I'm gonna have to give this guy some drag. This is, this is phenomenal. Oh God, this is the hardest fighter yet. Oh jeez. Maybe I got him foul hook, I don't know. This one's peeling on me. This one might be serious. Yeah, things just got a little real. He's either got the, the hook behind his eyes or he's a good one. Golly. This is for real. We might have a toad. We might have something decent here, folks. Ooh. I only... I'm running eight pound braid to 10 pound fluoro, I think, or 10 to 10 on this rig. Don't worry about me, CJ guys. Keep away from my fish, CJ. I got a decent one. <laughs> Don't get him hung up. This guy's not having it. That's a good one. Oh, God. I... Dude, this is for real. You guys Jared's are lucky too? that this is my job right now and I'm not fishing. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> is yours big too, CJ? This is peeling a little bit. Keys just to keep them, keep constant tension, pressure on them. All right, we're to, we're almost a leader. No, you're gonna see mine in a minute because he's going under the boat. Oh, is that trolling motor off, bud? Yeah. All right, he was heading for it. We got bubbles. Yeah, I've got myself wrapped up in Corey's line. All right, we're gonna get a look at this guy in a minute here, because I'm to the leader now. He's, he's back left of the boat. Oh yeah, nice one. Just had him hooked, looks perfect. And that's right. Yes, sir. Alright, nice. Had him hooked just perfect. Just barely hooked is why. Look at that. By the skin of his skin of his teeth. Nice one there. Oh yeah, that's a pig. It was. Yep. Nice Ooh, yellow on this one's eyes. It's pretty same. Same on this one. Nice one there, guys. Let me uh, switch the... 
Good fish. Doubled up. Double up. <laughs> this is no fun. Doubled up, <laughs> tripled up, guys. Yeah. If you Double. guys, listen, Jeez, um, give yeah. CJ a call, burnt, burnt metal guide service. If you guys want to have some good action like this and get over your ice fishing blues. We're in, this is our group, our support group for uh, early ice fishing season for the ice fishing depression. He doesn't even hardly fit the cooler. That was fun. That was the best fight I've had all year. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's fish all over us. Oh, man. He's still on you, unless it's a double. There you go. Nice. That one ate pretty high up. Not very big. Missed my double. Dang it. Is it still on? Need that one? No, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna try to get my own video here. You can do it. You can swim them over here. Got him. Got him. Yeah, doubled up. Doesn't feel big yet. Yeah. I was racing that one off the bottom. This is awesome. That should be cool right there. Can we? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, he's just fighting so hard at 40. I don't want to, I don't want to put much leverage on him because I like catching him. <laughs> much more leverage. With a braid, there's no stretch. Let me know when you're close. Is Pretty close? close, yep. My uh, line's still in the water, so you <laughs> You see him? Yeah, but can't we get it? Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, he choked it too. Nice. Ooh. Sweet. Another one, guys. All right, another Laker, guys. Long and skinny. I struggled with him, so he's going in the go home box. Oh, jeez, all over the court. Wow, that looked decent. There you go. That one looked decent, too. All over the court. Wow. He, he came in He high. hit you pretty good. Like on the scope, anyway, he came in fast. Good one? They're all good. CJ's hooked up, guys. He just stole Corey's fish from him. I mean, technically, they're all been my fish at one point. Right. <laughs> Look right at you, buddy. He's at the 40. Let me know if he needs a net. Yeah, if we're going to let him go, I'll probably just swim hook him. He must be the pig. Yes, sir. This one's good. He's fat. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Let him? Oh yeah, hold him up. Oh, we got a fish. You got you one on you. Should, your... You guys should just keep uh, dealing with him. Oh, I'm surprised they caught him. The last fish bit my tail right off. Oh, did that? Yeah. That one that, that missed you? Yeah. That one eat you? Oh. We almost got a triple, dude. He bumped it again, though. Yeah, he bumped it, didn't he? Hard. He's still there. 
There's two there. Hold that up. Come on, guys. Nice Sebago Lake Trout. What is it? March 13th. 13th. March 13th. Instead of sitting home crying, we're out here jigging up Lake Trout. This is our support group for guys that have depression that the ice is out early. And that it was a terrible ice fishing season. <laughs> support group is working. <laughs> we should go live. Post melt. If we start catching them, I'll go live. Start if we them. start catching yeah. them, dude has a full cooler over there. <laughs> well, you got, I mean, guys, we got to start catching them better than that. It's like, like the whole political sphere is like that. We don't want to bring that into fishing and or hunting too, you know, like as sportsmen more and more now than ever, we need to stick together and support each other. So, you know, if someone likes to, to catch trout, you know, or brook trout or, or little stream brook trout or, or crappie or chubs or suckers or whatever they like to fish for, you know, that's awesome. And, and I wish them luck and, and I'd like to try to learn how to, how to do what they've mastered or, or doing too. So I like to fish for about everything. I'd say open water, my favorite fish is probably smallmouth to target. And then through the ice, it's either crappie or pike. I think you guys got a fish I on know, you. Because I'm not down there yet. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a fish on you. Here we go. Somebody's about to get the chop. Yeah, Ooh. CJ just hooked up. Yeah. You stole your fish. Nice. Thanks, guys. CJ just came in and stole their fish. <laughs> Is there another one, or can I tell them? No, you're good. Corey's filming. Let me know when he gets close. Here he comes. Spin wheeling. Spinning. There you go. Nice little lake trout. Hold that baby up to the camera. Yeah. Weird. There he is, nice. Puking up pin smells. Yeah, I've got that one on a swim bait. 23, 24. Yeah, nice little lake trout. Got some good meat on them. Big one on the screen, guys. Wow, big, decent one on the screen. Two of them. There you go. I'm hooked up. Alright, somebody get that camera. Alright, I'm hooked up. Alright guys, I'm hooked up on live. My eyes are over here. I got a jig rod, an ice fishing jig rod. This is a 36 inch medium heavy by Elliot. And I'm hooked up on a deep lake trout. We're in a hundred foot of water. CJ, no, I thought we might have had a double, but there's another one. There's another one down there. I'm they're saying. You, actually. So a decent fish here. Um, it's over three pounds. It's in that three plus pound range. I'm running ten pound braid. Whoa, a ten pound floral. Whoa, whoa. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's he's, a good one. He started. Well, he's better. He started fighting as he got a little closer. But oh man, I don't have a ton of leverage on him with this ice fishing rod, but. I got it. But it, it makes the fight a lot more fun. I don't want to horse them guys because I've, I've already straightened these hooks once on, on a rope in the back of the boat. But I'm hooked up pretty good. It's like four headed to you, bud. I'm into the color. I'm into the orange. So I'm hooked up in 100 foot of water. I'm trying to pry this guy up. Um, I think I got him to about 40 foot right now. Jeez, he's pulling hard. Wow, he's pulling hard. I'm gonna need the belt. <coughs> I might need the fighting belt for this guy. He does not want to come up. I'm gonna start putting a little more pressure on him. Wow, we're hooked up good on this Don't one, guys. Him. Don't horse him, they're saying. That's my line. He's going over to your boat. He's going under the boat. Wow. 
He must be foul hooked or I got a giant. Oh, there's Bubbles. Okay. We got Bubbles. He's he's burping. You got a while. Oh, I see him. It's sad to tip the boat over. It's a fish. <laughs> it's definitely a fish. All right, we're to our leader. If I was tarpon fishing, that would be a catch. Pretty nice. good one. Oh yeah, nice one. Staver. Staver for you guys. There he is. Yes. Got him. Nice. There's a pretty good lake trout right there. He's in the five plus range. Let's see if I can pull him out of the net and show you guys him and make a decision. A lot of the decision on whether these are going home or not comes down to how easy. The, oh, look, he just spit. He just spit up a bunch of elbows in the net. Okay, he popped out. I might be able to show you guys what an elbow looks like too. A lot of times they spin in circles. This guy's gonna go home, so I don't. I'm not too worried about how I handle him. But all right, so he's. And then I, yeah, here's a. Oh, well, I've just, or no, that's a, is that a shiner or no? Oh, it's not. They try to match oh, the, yeah, it's a baby L, no, that's a baby L, yeah, yeah, there's a baby L right there, guys, so that's what they're eating, and if that doesn't match the bait I'm using, I don't know what does, you know, I'm a trout guy now, so, but there he is, what do you guys think of that two-hander, he's thick, right through the back, big old belly on him, right, oh, he's right full of bait, oh my gosh, but nice lake, lake trout there in Maine we call those togue and super super pretty fish right there for uh for what they are he came out of 100 feet deep so if you guys can give a thumbs up and a subscribe for a fish like that I don't know what else I can do so I'm super pumped um so hit those buttons for me and we'll see if we can get another one of these topside but that baby right there is going to go home and I'm probably going to stuff that with onions and uh, stuffing and wrap it with bacon and tin foil. throw a stick of butter in there and throw it in the oven for about an hour and have one heck of a meal and you could you could poach these two in boiling water with the chunks of meat and they taste just like lobster so there's a lot of ways you can eat lake trout and, and they're delicious fish and they provide a lot of meat but inches wise is that oh cj just missed one does that put me up to my limit on inches i want to talk about it is that 126? No, I mean, because you can only keep one over 26, I think. That's going to be pretty close. Yeah, that's... Oh, CJ's hooked up. Let me let me get this in the bucket. And let's get on CJ and show you what he's catching. And get my hooks out of the net while we're watching CJ. Not as big as goes. He's not as big. Oh, my God. So, i got to lure in the net. I'll try. Let me know when he gets close. I'll try to get this net ready. I got two hands full. Huh? Trying to dig my hook out of the net. You might have to hold him for a minute. LDR. LDR. Ten days ago they were fishing and made on, on the ice. It just went out so quick and you know we get we get early onset uh, seasonal depression, ice fishing, ice is out, seasonal depression and this year it came on really early and so we're out here in our support group. We decided to bring our rods with us you know just to have them. Oh fish fish roaming on the bottom. Oh CJ's hooked up on a good one. <laughs> that happened in a hurry. That was a good one. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm not really loving my hook set. Though. He does not love his hook set, guys. He came hard, though. Yeah. We'll show you this fish. Yeah, he's, pretty... he's liking it. I'm liking it. So this is this is what they say: one jerk, a jerk on one end, waiting for a jerk on the other. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's pretty good fish. He said it's a good fish. Good fish. We'll give the give the folks at home net cam. Let's see. You gotta look at them? 
Did he burp? Ooh. We're using ice fishing jig rods, so you don't get a ton of leverage on these fish, but you get enough. You get to feel every bit of the fight, which is awesome. Oh yeah, he's got some drag going. Oh yeah, nice one. Beauty. Oh, he popped off right. Told you I didn't like the hook set. <laughs> he popped off right on that. Guess what, guys? That's my fish now. CJ lost him after that, and now I caught him. So, is that how that works? Is that how that works? I don't know. What do you guys think of hold? Let us know in the comments. But he's gonna hold that fish up for you. That's a really nice lake trout. Still burping. Ah, he got you back. Bring okay, it's out. your fish. He got you back. It's definitely your fish. Nice fish. But nice quality. Beautiful, beautiful lake trout right there. Came flying in on the bottom, and CJ lifted up just in time to set the hook on him. What do you think, Donnie? Want him? No, that one he can probably throw back. Okay. Unless, I mean, he's he's not hurt at all or anything. No, he's good. Good healthy fish. Uh, Corey's got a monster coming watch in him on the bottom. Way. Oh no! Yeah. Corey's about to get a bite. Lift up! Lift up! He's, he's still he's on you. He got him! <laughs> that is so cool. That's the coolest thing about the live scope. Is oh, I just put he, the camera down too. Yep, yeah, he never would have caught that he did fish. Head shake, actually. CJ, can you man the camera for a second? I'm about to triple up. Corey took that. <laughs> I'll let you know if I hook up. I did. I barely put the camera down enough time. Corey's hooked up. Joe's got one chasing him. See Joe's lure. Oh, the fish just disappeared. He gave up. He was right there. But Corey's got a good one. He's fighting. I think, right? Yep. That was pretty good cool. One. Good one. Yeah, nice. There you go, we own him. Nice. Pretty hot and heavy, guys. Give uh, If you want to do this, you can do it. It's easy. Give CJ a call at uh, Burnt Metal Guide Service. He's got a couple openings, I think, over the next week and a half, and then he's booked up pretty hard. But there's, uh, there's Corey with his first fish, probably of his life, I think. Is that your first fish ever? I'm a made guide. Never caught anything in my life. I'm going to put this one back, though. Yeah. That's the first fish ever, so congratulations in the comments to Corey. I didn't think they the, would be wet. The that kind of threw me off. I wasn't sure <laughs> how wet. It had slime, and it was wet. So, I wasn't yeah, ready give, for that. Give Corey a big congratulations for his first fish ever. Where's your jacket? I'm gonna <laughs> my jacket's right here. <laughs> you just use my sweatshirt. It's easy to find. I'm wearing it. I didn't even get to turn my camera off. That was pretty cool. That's the, uh, the cool thing about the live scope is I was, I was watching it as... And Corey was filming CJ, and I saw a fish was coming, and he got to his rod just in time, and he gave it an awesome hook set. All right, so there's like, if you guys have never done this lake trout fishing or seen like deep lake trout fishing, there's a pretty good pattern to how to catch these fish if you find them. So we found the fish first. They're deep. They're in 100 foot of water, and we're watching our electronics, and you can do it on a regular sonar too. We happen to have live scope here, which is just amazing because you can see exactly what the fish are doing in and out and everything else. But if you have, even if you have traditional sonar, what you do is you're jigging near or on the bottom, and then when a fish comes in on the bottom, you start to reel up and play like a game of cat and mouse where you're trying to keep that mouse away from the cat. And then that usually triggers a bite or more aggression from these lake trout. So it's a lot of fun for us to watch the screen jig and jig, nothing on it. And then a fish enters the chat from one side or the other. And then we start lifting up or jigging or reeling up to try to get them to bite. And then, you know, it happens maybe one in 10 times you get a bite. So it's really exciting when you get that opportunity to do that. And when several come in, you usually get more bites because they're aggressive against each other. They don't want the other cat getting that mouse before they get it. So that's what we're doing out here today. We're fishing with three quarter to one ounce baits, uh, blade baits or swim baits on jig heads. And we're fishing super, super deep. We're vertically jigging. So we're actually just using light braid. I have 10 pound braid to a fluorocarbon leader. Uh, at this depth, you can go straight to your lure too. So I think Corey's going straight to his lure and you're straight to your lure too. With uh, anywhere from like six to, to 20 pound braid. Uh, the braid doesn't have any stretch, which you kind of need at this depth and using like these short rods like we're using. We are using V rods. They're like a blade bait uh, metal. And so not live bait. And we're vertically jigging for lake trout. So this is a basically a 
big blade bait exactly i'll show you another picture of it uh, right here so there it is right there so it's a it's a big blade bait and actually i could probably show you yeah i'll show you guys various sizes of them and different colors of the same exact bait and then i'll show you the one i'm using this is the one i'm using right here that's the color and it's so it's a blade bait with extra weight on it well guys we had an awesome day out there i ended up shooting a live video if you guys checked out that live video throw something in the comments let me know but i shot a live video out there we caught another you know between five and ten fish uh, we're bringing home a nice stack for donnie we'll show you those at the boat launch but awesome awesome day on the water if you guys want to do something like this give cj a call he still has a few openings i know he's getting booked up for brown trout and for uh salmon season two but but yeah awesome day on the water big thanks to Corey for getting a lot of this great content you guys have seen in this video huge thanks to cj for bringing the boat putting us on the fish as always doing the hard work ahead of time uh, he was out here when it was blowing straight sideways the other day just to try to find these fish for us and it gave us an awesome awesome day on the water um big thanks to elliot rods to acme tackle for the for the equipment that we use today we caught those fish in over 100 foot of water on our ice fishing jig rods how cool is that and uh, of course with the garmin live scope as always just makes it a hundred times more fun uh makes a great day of fishing 10 times greater honestly to watch those fish how they react how they fly through and all that stuff but we might see some fish cleaning after this maybe i'll throw that fish cleaning on before it but otherwise over and out really appreciate all the support for the channel and all the subscribers thanks again guys thanks guys give us a call you want to go out fishing i caught my first fish so that's pretty cool <laughs> first third fish <laughs> he caught his first fish three times today but no everything everything worked flawless and it's just a great day on the water when you're idling back in you don't always think of that when everything works perfect it's just a great day the electronics work great the boat ran great uh, all the tackle the gear ran great the the cooler obviously worked awesome it was great having that table out and the garment on top of it and we got 30 quarts of uh of lake trout in there right now so we actually still have a rod out there fishing for yeah we even left a rod out uh cory kicked one off when i was offline he went to grab the net and the rod i think the handle was in the net and it, like flipped it over and we couldn't get to it quick enough so that's down in 110 cj will pro i'll promise you he'll catch that before the season's over so but it's out there fishing for us at least so so there you got that going for us <laughs> hopefully you get that before the season's over so you don't get a ticket right. for fishing outside the season right i will too <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> they're after me cj uh, Corey's had a rough day he, <laughs> he hit two deer he he got tore up in the live and he lost a rod and i don't know what else the day's not over we're not home yet so we're not gonna jinx him yeah.